Every autumn, it feels like your yard transforms overnight into a carpet of dry, brittle leaves, piled in corners, covering garden beds, blowing across walkways. And for most people, those leaves are nothing but a chore. They get raked up, stuffed into bags, hauled away, and with them goes some of the best organic material your garden will ever get. Welcome to Grow With Tim, where we turn everyday garden problems into simple, science-backed solutions. And today, we're starting with the biggest misunderstanding of fall, why dry leaves take forever to decompose. The truth is, those crunchy leaves are built to resist decay. Their structure is packed with tough cellulose and protective waxes, nature's way of keeping a tree alive through months of freezing wind and rain. But here's the catch. They're almost pure carbon, very little nitrogen, almost zero quick energy, and no easy food source for the microbes that run the composting show. So when you toss dry leaves into a pile and wait for magic to happen, nothing does. Not for weeks, sometimes not for months. Without help, they decompose painfully slowly, barely softening through an entire season. But as you're about to see, with the right biological jumpstart, those stubborn leaves can transform into rich, dark compost in days, not months. What if I told you there's a way to take those stubborn, slow-rotting leaves and flip nature's switch, turning weeks of decay into just days? No store-bought boosters, no synthetic fertilizers, no complicated compost systems, just a simple liquid starter that wakes up the natural microbes already waiting in your garden. This is the secret we use here on Grow With Tim, and it's surprisingly straightforward. Think of it as a living brew, a mixture designed to feed, energize, and multiply the tiny organisms responsible for breaking organic matter down. When you pour it over dry leaves, it doesn't just speed things up a little. It triggers a surge of microbial life. Dry leaves normally decompose slowly because the microbes have nothing easy to eat. They need available sugars, amino acids, and moisture before they can start producing the enzymes that break through tough leaf fibers. Our liquid starter gives them exactly that. It jumpstarts the process by providing fast energy, warmth, and billions of new helpers in a single pour. The moment this mixture hits your leaf pile, the biology changes. Microbes wake up, multiply, and begin digesting cellulose at a rate the natural environment can't match on its own. Suddenly, a pile that would sit unchanged for months begins warming, softening, darkening, turning into real compost in a fraction of the normal time. It's nature's own system, only faster. So what exactly makes this liquid starter so remarkably effective? It's not magic, and it's definitely not chemicals. It all comes down to three powerful components working together in a way nature already understands. First, the mixture is loaded with fast, simple carbohydrates. These are basically instant fuel for beneficial bacteria. Dry leaves don't offer any quick energy, so microbes stay slow, sleepy, and inactive. But once those sugars hit the pile, the bacteria wake up and start multiplying fast, building the workforce needed to break down tough plant fibers. Second, the solution contains natural enzymes, compounds that act like tiny biological scissors. Leaves are made of cellulose and waxy coatings that are intentionally hard to break apart. Enzymes soften this structure, poke holes in it, and make it easier for microbes to chew through. It's the difference between trying to eat a raw carrot and a steamed one. And third, the mixture introduces additional microorganisms that kickstart a miniature fermentation process. This early fermentation generates heat, exactly what a compost pile needs to shift from slow decay mode into active decomposition mode. Warmth speeds everything up. Moisture moves deeper into the pile. Microbes spread like wildfire. The result? Even old, brittle, sun-baked leaves that would normally sit untouched for months begin breaking down within days. This starter doesn't fight nature, it supercharges it. Now let's talk about the recipe for this accelerator, because the beauty of it is that you can make four liters of it using ingredients you already have at home. No synthetic boosters, no fancy garden store additives, just simple components that wake up nature's own decomposers. For a four liter batch, you'll start with your sweetener. This can be regular sugar, a spoonful of honey, or even leftover syrup. It doesn't matter which you choose, what matters is that it provides quick energy for microbes the moment it hits the leaf pile. Next, you'll need a gentle, natural source of nitrogen. A handful of grass steeped in warm water works perfectly, or even a weak herbal tea. This nitrogen fills the exact gap dry leaves are missing, helping microbes multiply faster. Then comes the activator. You can use dry yeast, a splash of kefir, or another live fermented culture. 
Any of these will introduce living microorganisms that kickstart the entire system. Think of them as the seed population that gets everything moving. Combine all of this in warm water, around the temperature you'd use for bread dough. Warm enough to wake the microbes, but never hot enough to harm them. Stir well and let the mixture sit for 30 to 60 minutes. When you notice a light foam forming on top, that's your sign the biology is awake and hungry. At that point, your accelerator is ready to pour. Once your mixture is active and foamy, it's time to bring it to the leaves. The way you apply it matters just as much as the recipe itself. Start by gathering your dry leaves into a loose, breathable pile, not a tightly packed mound. Microbes need airflow, and a fluffy structure gives them the oxygen they need to work quickly. If you prefer, you can also spread the leaves out in a thin layer. This helps the solution penetrate even more evenly. Now take your accelerator and pour it gently over the leaves. You're aiming for a thorough dampening, not a heavy soak. Think moist like a wrung out sponge. Too much liquid will suffocate the microbes and slow everything down, while just enough encourages rapid fermentation and heat buildup. If some leaves look extra dry or stubborn, give the pile a light toss with a rake. This helps distribute the mixture deeper into the pile, ensuring every part gets its share of active microbes and quick energy. To supercharge the reaction, sprinkle a thin layer of garden soil or finished compost on top. This simple step adds native microorganisms and minerals that act like a biological booster. With moisture, oxygen, and a bit of soil life, your leaf pile transforms from a passive heap into a living, heating compost engine. During the first few days after applying your mixture, the leaf pile begins to come alive. If you place your hand near the center, you'll notice a gentle warmth building up. One of the clearest signs that microbial activity is ramping up fast. Billions of bacteria and fungi are multiplying, feeding on the sugars and natural nitrogen you added, and releasing heat as they break down the tough leaf fibers. You may also notice a clean, earthy aroma rising from the pile. That forest floor smell is a good indicator that decomposition is moving in the right direction. The leaves start to soften, losing that crisp, papery texture that made them so slow to break down in the first place. By day five to seven, the transformation becomes visible. The pile settles lower as the structure collapses and the leaves begin turning darker and more pliable. At this stage, the mixture of heat, moisture, and microbial digestion is working at full speed, creating the perfect conditions for rapid composting. Between days 10 and 14, you'll start to see what gardeners call half-finished compost. The material becomes crumbly, darker, and noticeably richer, though you might still spot some larger pieces. This is the moment you know the process is succeeding. Nature is converting what was once dry, stubborn debris into nutrient-dense soil food at an unusually fast pace. To keep the breakdown moving at top speed, your leaf pile needs just a little routine care. The most important factor is moisture. Aim for that classic wrung out sponge feel. Damp enough for microbes to stay active, but never dripping wet. If the pile begins to dry out, give it a light sprinkle of water or another small splash of your accelerator mix. A little goes a long way. Every two to three days, take a moment to introduce fresh oxygen. A quick turn with a rake or garden fork is enough. This simple step prevents the pile from going anaerobic, which can slow decomposition and create unpleasant smells. Air is fuel for your microbes, and a well-aerated pile always breaks down faster. If you're working in a colder climate or nighttime temperatures dip, insulate the pile with a thin layer of straw or extra leaves. This helps retain heat, crucial for keeping microbial activity high. In hot, dry regions, provide some shade to protect the pile from drying out too quickly. And if at any point you feel the process slowing, don't worry. Just boost it with a little more of your activator mixture or toss in a handful of green waste, like grass clippings or vegetable scraps. These nitrogen-rich additions reignite microbial growth and put the process back into high gear. By the time your leaf pile reaches its final stage, you'll be holding garden gold in your hands. The leaves have transformed into a dark, crumbly mass that smells like fresh forest soil, rich, earthy, and full of life. This isn't just decomposed leaves, it's a nutrient-dense living compost ready to feed your garden from root to leaf. The benefits are immediate and long-lasting. Spread it into your garden beds and you'll notice the soil structure improve, holding moisture longer while remaining airy and easy for roots to penetrate. Plants respond quickly, growing stronger, greener, and more resilient, as if they've been given a secret boost from nature itself. Unlike chemical fertilizers, this compost works gradually, 
releasing nutrients over time so your crops enjoy sustained growth. It's perfect for garden beds, potted plants, raised containers, or even as a mulch to protect soil and retain moisture. Whether you're tending flowers, vegetables, or fruit trees, this living compost enhances productivity without any synthetic additives. And the best part? It's completely free, sustainable, and made from what most people would throw away. Turning ordinary fallen leaves into this dark, fertile humus is like giving your garden a second life. And all it took was a little patience, a simple homemade activator, and a splash of water. Your plants and your soil will thank you season after season. What makes this method stand out from every other composting trick out there? Simply put, it's a game changer for anyone tired of waiting months for leaves to break down. Unlike traditional compost piles that can sit untouched for half a year or more, this approach works on a whole different timeline. In just a few weeks, your dry, stubborn leaves transform into nutrient-rich, dark humus, ready to feed your garden. The beauty of it is how little effort it takes. You don't need fancy machinery, expensive chemicals, or constant supervision. A simple pile, a few natural ingredients, and warm water are all it takes to awaken a legion of hard-working microbes. It's literally a hands-off system once you set it in motion. Just check moisture levels and give it a quick turn every few days. Cost? Almost nothing. All you're using is items you probably already have in your kitchen or garden. Sugar, yeast, molasses, or a splash of nitrogen-rich liquid like a grass infusion. No fertilizers, no synthetic additives, just pure biology at work. And scale? This method can handle mountains of leaves. Whether you're dealing with a small backyard or acres of autumn debris, you can compost enormous volumes without the headache, reducing waste while creating something that's genuinely beneficial for your soil. It's fast, eco-friendly, and ridiculously effective, a modern gardener's dream solution. Remember this, those piles of dry leaves in your yard aren't trash. They're pure gold for your soil. Every leaf you rake up holds carbon, energy, and the building blocks your garden craves. Instead of bagging them and sending them to the landfill, imagine turning them into a dark, rich compost that feeds your plants, boosts moisture retention, and supports healthy, thriving growth. It's literally free, powerful, and completely natural. Here's the kicker. Once you try this method just once, you'll never go back to old slow composting routines. You'll watch your leaves transform before your eyes, feel the warmth of active microbes, and smell the earthy forest aroma of your own living compost. It's fast, easy, and shockingly effective, proving that nature doesn't need our chemicals or complex machinery. It just needs the right conditions and a little activation. So don't wait. Grab your leaves, mix up your compost activator, and watch the magic happen. And if you want more field-tested natural gardening hacks like this, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, and join the Grow With Tim community. Your garden deserves it, your soil deserves it, and you deserve the satisfaction of turning waste into life. Start today and let your garden thrive season after season.